Hello YouTube, it is everything Epan in here, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a video on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 4051 in VirtualBox. Now, a few things about this build of Longhorn it was released on February 10th of 2003, and it was a part of the Milestone 7 series of the Longhorn releases on the pre-build side, and this was actually the first of the Longhorn builds that actually had a 64-bit version uh, that was distributed to um, the testers. So um, a few things interesting about that and figured I'd share that little bit of information with you about this build. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So there will be links in the description here. Uh, first, of course, being VirtualBox, you can download it for your specified operating system here. And then um, also the extension packs available down here if you want to install that as well. And then the other links in the description will be the links for uh, the Windows Longhorn ISO itself. And this is coming from WinWorld PC, so uh, credit to them for the ISOs. Um, they, I will include links for the 64-bit versions of those. Now, I have not had any luck with the 64-bit versions working. Uh, I will be using the 32-bit version in this video, um, but certainly you can still try and download it and use it if you wish, if you end up finding a way to um, install it, but I have not had any luck with the 64-bit versions working. They do end up freezing on me, but they will be there for you just in case if you would like to uh, go ahead and download that version as well. And so once you have those downloaded, uh, or if you've already had them downloaded before, uh, go ahead and open VirtualBox. The manager will pull up here, may have some machines on the left side, may not. Uh, but regardless, we'll go ahead and go up to the uh, new button up here to create a new virtual machine. And I'm just gonna call this Windows Longhorn Build 4051. And for the version, um, in my case, I will do 32-bit and we'll want Windows XP actually as the addition. Um, and if you're able to do 64-bit or get it to work or uh, want to try it, you would select 64-bit in this, in this instance, but I will be doing the 32-bit since that's the version I will have here. Uh, choose your specified location to save the machine full, uh, to, and go ahead and hit next once you're finished with all that. Uh, it does say the minimum uh, RAM recommendation is 192 megabytes. I'm actually gonna update that just to a gig. Uh, or two gigs even for that matter, but you can certainly keep it at that if you want, but I'm just gonna up it since I have the availability to. And then it will have you here now, go ahead and uh, create the virtual hard disk after hitting that next button. And so we're gonna wanna create the new virtual hard disk and it does have the recommended size of 10 gigs that it will have us. And you can choose your file type here. Again, I just usually use VDI for the virtual box uh, machines here. You can use VHD or VMDK if you wanna try and use it on different um, different software such as VMware. And once you pick that, hit next. Uh, you can choose either one of these. I normally do dynamically allocate. You can do fixed if you would like, uh, but choose your specified option, your preference there and hit next. And then I'm gonna leave this at the default of 10 gigs of hard drive space. You can certainly increase it if you wish. And once you have that set, go ahead and create. And it will go ahead and bring us our machine. I'm gonna drop it up into the uh, order since I have these ordered out. And then what we'll wanna do is hit settings up the top here. It'll bring us up to our machine settings window and we'll go to storage. We'll hit this empty disk in the controller, it should be controller IDE here. And we'll hit empty and then we'll hit this disk. And then um, we will choose in this case, since we are searching for it may be in the menu there if you've used it previously uh, as you saw with the list uh, it was already there for me but i will show you just on the point of finding it manually so i'm going to find the iso and should be here for me so there it is and um the uh 32 bit actually does come with the i think a text file with it too with the product key um which it will require during this installation. So um, that's something to keep in mind. Um, otherwise it definitely is online as well if you're able, unable to find it or anything. So once we've got that, uh, we've hit okay to get out of the screen uh, there to confirm the change. And then now we can go ahead and start our virtual machine. Uh, 
And so it will start it up. Uh, did it in the background here. We'll just go ahead and pull it up now. And then it will give us the Longhorn splash screen here. And we'll bring us to the interface here for the setup. Now this version actually does not require us to change the bio state uh, as some previous versions did. Um, if for any reason it doesn't come up to screen or you know says that it's out of the window, uh, I'm not sure if it'll come up to this point, but you, you can um, go in and change the date if needed. But uh, for this build, you shouldn't need to. Uh, so on that first window, we'll hit next, and then this will be the page where we'll type in the product key. So go ahead and type that in um, as you wish. Uh, I will go ahead and type that in and we'll continue on uh, by hitting OK on the next screen here. All right, and then when hitting OK, it will bring us to the license agreement. Uh, just comes up with, uh, at the time, it would have been 180 day license uh, when using this back in the day. Um, so we'll hit yes to accept the terms of this agreement and continue. Then we'll just come up with a summary of the install location. Should be set by default uh, to the drive that you created so shouldn't need to change anything there and then you can change your computer name as you wish i'm just going to call this longhorn 4051 and then once you have everything changed there as needed go ahead and hit continue and then uh, here it will actually confirm the space to install your uh of windows longhorn here uh, should be defaulted to this unallocated space and it's 10 gigs as i've had it set so we'll make sure that's highlighted and hit continue and then it's going to go ahead and copy the files and continue through the uh, portion of the setup here. So for this, we're just going to let this uh, sit and uh, do its thing here. It does have a timer down in the bottom right. Um, definitely will go quicker than what it's listed because of newer hardware, but obviously still will depend on the hardware that you have. So we'll let this continue and then I will be back with you guys once we hit the first uh, restart screen here. All right, so that actually came up quicker than expected here. So you should get this page to restart. It'll have a timer down here. And so um, we can also just hit finish to go ahead and process the reboot. And it will go ahead and reboot your machine. Now do not press any key to boot from the CD. Otherwise you will continue in a loop through this setup. So just let that run through. It'll pull up the boot logo again. And then it will go ahead. This part uh, should probably take the longest actually. So it'll detect your uh, hardware here it says it can take up to 10 minutes and certainly can depend on your hardware um, if you do have newer hardware it should take a little bit quicker than that but um, go ahead and let this sit through here uh, it may flash the screen or make the window here a little bit bigger during this um, but we'll let this run through and i will come back with you guys once we hit that next restart point all right so we're at the next reboot point here again do not press any key here to boot from the cd it'll just keep going in a loop if you do try and do that and then it'll bring up the boot and boot us up into the desktop here and you can see the default background it had um, back then on this build as well and so uh, that should really be all there is to it here uh, we've got everything set up through the uh, setup process there and uh, did bring us up to the desktop here so uh, there may be some additional screens that additionally pop up here after this install is complete um, it has just taken uh, some time on the upon the first uh, boot up here to get everything up. But there you go. You do see the taskbar and the redesign notification and widgets uh, bar here, uh, as long as your quick launch uh, bar up here as well. So uh, again, that will take care of the video here. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video or if this did help you out in any way on the install for this build of Longhorn, certainly do give it a like. Uh, if you have any ideas for any future videos, certainly leave a comment down below as well. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do so. And uh, hit the bell to be notified whenever I post a new video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.